Hey guys, it is Crafty Turner here, and we are going to be doing another YouTube video. And today I've gone for something a bit different to usual. Normally I'll be doing Minecraft videos, but today I think I'll just do an iPod Nano video. So I received this yesterday, I bought it off the internet, I got the green version iPod Nano 6th generation, it's in perfect condition. So yeah. Um, for starters, I'm just gonna show you show you how to make your clock screen come up when you've got your home screen like that. So you go to settings, general, date and time. You might have to scroll down a bit. Go to scroll down, and then it should say clock um, time on wake. Time on wake. That needs to be on. And at the bottom there, you should see one which says clock face. Can't really see it very clearly. But then you should have a bunch of clocks. And then just choose which one. Personally, I like that one. So you just click set once you've tapped on it. And then every time you every time you go back to your home page, like go, go to your sleep, it should just be there. So, yep. Yeah. And then another cool trick is just whilst I'm on this, is you can just go to any random thing. It doesn't just work on settings in days and time. That would be ridiculous. But just any app, if you just click and hold in the top right-hand corner, it just takes you back to the home menu. I thought that that was pretty cool as well. So third, I've got I've got these small icons on at the moment. And how you do that, you go to settings, general home screen small icons normally if you've got like the brand new updated version it will just look like this like that like lots of big icons but I don't like that because I've got a hell of a lot of icons so if I just go to general settings general home screen small icons on and then you just you I think it looks more neater in my opinion and for the second of all, if you click and hold the minus button, and then the top button. Hold on. Then that should come up. And then eventually, this will come up. Well, not eventually. After about five seconds, this should come up. If you click the plus button to go down, the minus button to go up. You want to see one which is called Axel. It's second to bottom, so if you just select that one by clicking that top button again, and then it should already be selected, but there's one called Axel XYZ. Select that one. Then Every time you move around your iPod, all of these numbers just change, which is pretty cool, I suppose. So that's that one. And then to go back, at the bottom it just says, press any button to exit. And then just click any button to exit, like it says. And then if you just, it should already be selected, it says go back. So just select that one. And then it should be selected at the bottom so you have to scroll all the way back up by clicking your minus button on the top and then it, there should be one which says standby it just goes off and then just click and hold that button to turn it back on and then you're sorted and the stuff what i got extra for my ipod well this came with it and this is a little case where i bought it off the internet this guy bought it like separately and then sold it with the case this looks a bit blue but really it's purple so yeah that's pretty cool and yes yeah, so just bendy you clip it on it's quite hard to get on but I'll just do a quick example if I just clip it on like that and then just clip it round like so And then that just clips into the bottom. 
and then yeah you've got your case on your iPod it's pretty simple that one and this next one what I'm just about to show I can't really show you how to put it on because it takes a while so yeah I've got the watch strap for my iPod and yeah this is pretty awesome I got it for 50 euros I'm not really sure how much that is in pounds or dollars but it's still pretty awesome so yeah I mean there's nothing else for me to say really so I hope that you've enjoyed my iPod Nano video and don't forget to subscribe for more see you later bye